my name is Leona from Supraconscious Soul and this is your Aries North Node for November. So Aries North Node, what do you need to know for November? There we go. So we have the Ace of Swords. So there's some kind of drawing a line in the sand, some sort of truth or clarity that come after you as feeling left out in the cold. Now we have a wish coming in for you. This is wishes granted, but it's not about pushing things under the carpet with this card. It's about making sure that your wishes are open, that you know what it is that you want. There is some kind of truth or some kind of honesty. It may be um, on being open, honesty, emotionally. It may be that... Um, for some of you, you may have thought something was your final cup and it turns out that it wasn't. So now there's more truth or more clarity around that for some of you. We also have the issue is the four of wands in reverse. So there's some kind of homecoming or reunion that didn't happen the way you probably wanted it to do. Now we have you releasing conflict here, which is a good thing. You're releasing any kind of mental conflict moving forwards about this. Now distracting you, we have the emperor. This is you taking a leadership position. This is you say making choices that are best for the whole family or the whole nation or the whole community or the whole um, business or it's being very much standing in your power as Aries, yeah, standing in your truth as well. Now, helping you, we have the fall. This is a new beginning. This also echoes the reading for Aries that just went... Um, we have your new focus, you're needing to make a decision, you're needing to weigh up the pros and cons. In some senses, it's like there's a an imbalance, you're needing to not stay in too far in the past, but however, not make too much plans for the future. There's a need to kind of stay in the present, to live in each moment. Yeah, because that's where your skills of manifesting are going to come from this month. Yeah, from staying happy in the moment that you're in and not worrying too much about the past, not worrying too much about the future. Now we have the temperance card. So in reverse. So that's also showing that there may be something that's out of balance, yeah, in some way, or it may be just saying that the thing that you wanted to come together isn't quite coming together, or it's not coming together in the timing that you would have hoped for. It, but it's just saying that there's a process that needs to go on here. Now we have you upright as the King of Cups, yeah? So this could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy, but it could be that you're weighing up the pros and cons for some of you to move forward with this Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. Underneath the deck we have the Seven of Swords. So in some senses it's like saying, well, do I follow the crowd? Do I go with what everybody else wants? Um, there may be some energy left there that needs to be finished. Do I continue despite my insecurities around a situation? Somebody could have been a bit manipulative, so you're deciding whether to give them a second chance or not. Um, or they, they had you out of balance in some way. But we do have what's helping you is that new beginning. Now let's take some oracle cards. So the North Node readings are how to move towards your highest destiny in some way. So, how can you move towards your highest destiny this month? We have Animal Kingdom. Now, it says, Animals of all types are extraordinary creatures and miraculous gifts to us. They've been our spiritual companions since the dawn of time. At this moment, they have lessons to share with you that will open your heart and soul. So, it's about being intuitive to the animals around you right now. Looking at... They're, they're trying to give you signs. They're trying to give you um, symbols. Let's have another one. There's also some kind of need to be... Look at your alertness and your senses this month as well. Yeah? 
It could also be as simple as saying, oh, well, your dog doesn't like that person, um, but they can sense what you can't sense in some senses. So, yeah, <laughs> in some senses. So, your other card is choices, yeah? It says, when you accept responsibility for your life and the choices you make, you begin to tap into the power of your own spirit. So, this month, it is about tapping into this power. It is about taking responsibility. Maybe before you allowed things to go under the table, maybe before you um, allowed people to leave you out in the cold in some way or you felt in some way abandoned. But it says you'll be able to listen to and appreciate the intuitive wisdom that's inside you and apply it positively and constructively to your outside world. Now, what else do we have? Let's have an energy card and then a message from heaven. So, okay, we'll have that one. So right now, okay, what I'm getting is if there was some kind of strategy or some kind of plan or some kind of divine timing that you had in mind, spirit saying no, yeah? Spirit saying like, In some senses, I'm getting that you're needing to kind of, you're needing to make the choice, yeah, but it could be that somebody else had a strategy, yeah, or they had a strategy of how you were, things was going to work, how they was going to come together, because this is general, so it could be vice versa, but in terms of you, I feel like something wasn't coming together in the way that it was supposed to come together. And the universe is asking you to make a choice now, yeah? About what it is that you want to do moving forward. It's also 23, so that breaks down to 3. So I feel like Spirit's trying to say to you that something's not going to come together in the way that you thought it was, yeah? There, there was this reunion or something that wasn't going to come together. And now you're kind of in this balancing act. It may be that you need to have more strategy moving forward for some of you. Because it could work both ways. So you're needing to have more strategy. You're needing to listen to your intuition a lot more. And also logic as well. Less about the heart, because I feel like with the heart, emotionally, you swept things under the carpet there, in some sense. So you're needing to look at things logically and moving forward. How are you going to move forward? What does this new start consist of for you? Yeah? Do you follow the crowd or do you go th do things your own way? Because this is an Aquarius moon. So it, there's no emotions there. There's nothing involved there emotionally. It's about thinking about things logically and, if anything, intuitively. It could also be, for some of you, that somebody comes back into your life and there's a need to make a choice. But I feel like if this, they may still be in this manipulative energy. I feel like you have to make a choice um, that is for your best this month. You have to make that choice and not worry about how everything else is going to come together in the background. Yeah, in some senses, spirit is saying that that's their job. You need to have that self-love and from there, then you can make those intuitive choices. Yeah, not trying to stay balanced when things are unbalanced, not trying to go along without a strategy, so to speak. It's a time to take a leap of faith for some of you. So I really do hope this has helped. Take care. Stay blessed. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.